first we're going to start out by matting the photo. I'm not measuring anything, I just eyeball it. Take it to my paper trimmer and cut it. I'm using some Crumb Cake Stampin' Up! ink and just a sponge and I'm just sponging the edge of the cardstock. Now I have some white acrylic paint. A little plastic palette I got from the dollar store. And this is an aqua color acrylic paint. And I'm just adding some water to that aqua color palette to make it thinner since I'll be making little droplets out of it. So I'm just taking my thick paintbrush here and taking a bravery test, eyeballing where I want my photo, and then I'm just going to start painting right on my layout. Just quick strokes. And then again, seeing what my photo is going to be, and then paint again so I get some paint at the top and the bottom of the photo. Now I'm taking a smaller paintbrush and mixing that water with the acrylic paint. So it's pretty thin. And then I'm just lightly tapping with my finger, my paintbrush, to get the droplets or the splatter marks on my layout. So by adding the water, it makes this a lot easier to do because the paint is thinner. So you can add as little or as much as you like. And I'm setting that aside to dry. And now my stamping, I'm using this American Crafts stamp set. And we're going to use the lanterns. So I'm using black stays on ink since I'm going to be stamping here on some vellum. And I just re-inked my stays on ink. So you'll see here my first impressions really smeared. So that's not because of the vellum, it's because my stays on was really juicy. So it's smeared horribly, so I just stamped again and then it stamped fine. I'm taking these same stamps and stamping them again on white cardstock. And then I'm just going to cut all of them out, both the vellum and the cardstock. And I'll show you why in a minute. So now I'm taking the vellum pieces that I cut out, and turning them over. And I'm just taking a cheap color pencil in red and I'm coloring on the back. And so this will give a light color to the vellum and it won't smear. But if I had nothing behind it, it's kind of hard to see that coloring. But when I put the white cardstock behind it, it really makes the color pop. So that's why I stamped it both in the, black, uh, the white cardstock and the vellum so I could layer each of these. So now I'm doing the same but with a yellow color on these other lanterns. Just coloring on the back, nothing fancy. I'm using my glue pen just because they're a small image and just placing a couple dots on the cardstock to um, adhere the vellum to it. And this dries clear so you won't see it. So I did that for all the lanterns. So back to my layout. Those lanterns, um, 
I intend to go here in this upper corner. Just getting a visual feel of how they fit on the page. I have this little strip of cardstock from Stampin' Up. They're scrap and kit tags, tickets and tags. And then this is just some black thread. And I just fold it in half so that it's doubled up, so that it's thicker, just so you can see it better. And I'm just gluing that little strip down. And then I'm just taking some scotch tape, taping, putting some tape onto the thread and just taped it right to the back of the layout. So I did that for five different pieces of thread for each lantern. And now I'm just putting dimensionals onto each lantern. You can see all my thread there. It's got a little tangle. So I'm just pulling it down, and now I'm using the dimensional to hold it down. And I'm just pressing it down over the string. And I do that for each lantern. And this one I wanted a different length. I cut my thread too long. I wanted the lantern to be up higher. So I just placed it down where I wanted it, and then I just trimmed the thread. So you can see how doubling up the thread makes it more thicker so you can see it better. So there's all the lanterns, there's my photo again. So this is the scrapping kit. From Stampin' Up, these are stickers. So I'm going to use bits and pieces from that kit. So there's these border stickers here. So I just took one, cut it, and just adhered it at a diagonal over my photo to make it appear to be holding the photo in place, similar to like a washi tape. Then I had another piece, uh, strip of designer paper, you couldn't see it, I think I adhered it to the bottom. This is my alphabet sticker from Doodlebug, and it's bright red, and it was just too bright, so this is a tech technique I do a lot. Um, I just sand with a sanding block right over those letters and it softens the color and it adds some texture. So that's all I'm doing is I'm rubbing over the letters I'm going to use for my title before I stick them down so that they could be lighter color for what I wanted on my layout. And you can see the other letters there that I've used, I painted over with acrylic paint to get gray. So these are red, but I wanted gray on another layout, so I just painted over it. So again, just you can manipulate your alphabet stickers if you need to. So there's my title, and now I'm just looking to see what embellishment I want to add from that sticker sheet. So I chose a flower, and again, they're stickers, so they'll just stick. They already have the adhesive on them. And then there's some smaller flowers, so I just adhered another one right on top to add a little bit of layer. But then I didn't like that gray, it blended too much, so I picked another one that was a lighter color, and I just laid it right on top. And there's that little strip there that I added to the bottom. Sorry, you couldn't see it, it was off screen. These are some basic gray sticker accents I've had for a little while. So I'm just adding more embellishment for my journaling, so that's going to have my date on it. So I'm just I'm getting a journaling pen and writing my date. 
And then just to add a little more red to the top, I wanted it to tie in more. This is um, a strip from that ribbon, excuse me, that sticker sheet from the scrapping kit. And it's in between two different patterns, so that's why it's so thin. And then I'm just laying it down and cutting it. Just to tie in the red color to the top. And now I'm just adding some rhinestones. And these are from Stampin' Up. And here's the layout, and I added my journaling. There's the lanterns, and there's my, you can see the texture on the title there. So thank you so much for watching.